Hello everyone! Good morning! Let me introduce myself. My name is Remelin Estenzo and I am your professor for today's video. And today, before we start, take your seat everyone. And today, we are going to discuss about something in line with automotive or like something parts of automobile. Ayan. So, okay, let's start. Uh, I want you to always remember these words of encouragement. Um, I forgot who says this, but this has been my motivations right now and of course with God. Okay, you know why people make mistakes? Because they are willing to see just how far they can push themselves. You don't know what you're capable of achieving until you try to achieve it. So I hope you apply that to yourself that it is okay to fail, it is okay to make mistakes, but uh, use that mistake as your motivation to strive hard and to go harder okay so let's begin so okay so in your activity you need to answer this question no in your opinion lang you don't need to make it correct or any everything but uh, you have to answer this okay so first question is in your opinion in your own opinion what are the common causes of accidents on the road Okay, Miss Guno. Okay, that's a very good answer, Miss Guno. That's right. Okay, the common causes of accidents on the road are brakes. Like it is common, right? If you kung nawala ng brakes yung sasakyan mo, of course, ma accident talaga yan. Okay, so let's go to the second question. In your own opinion, why is it important to check the brakes before driving a car? Of course. Diba? It is very obvious to prevent accident like that. Okay, this is easy as that. So this is just an activity. This is just a free activity. Okay, let's go to the other slide. And today we are going to talk about brakes. Yeah. So, so are you familiar with the brakes? Mm -hmm. Yes, I believe these brakes uh, are in our cars like that. In the young Yung nangyari sa so let's go. So this is these are our objectives at the end of this lesson. The learners will be able to learn and identify the types of brakes and how it works. To recite the steps and how to check the brake system. Okay, let's go. Haba itong brakes na pinagsasabi ko ngayon. So, brakes offer a way to slow the momentum of a vehicle for better control and safety on the road. So, I know nga kita ta na nakabaluanin na ang brakes is very vital in driving a car and it is very, uh, uh, it is the vehicle to control the safety on the road. A brake system uses hydraulic advantage to apply force to a friction material that generates heat. A moving vehicle has kinetic energy. Brakes convert kinetic energy into heat, heat energy to stop the car. Okay, so let's go. There are two types of brakes. Number one is this brake. These brakes have a rotor for each wheel, and brake pads are the friction material. A brake caliper applies force to a brake pad which presses it against the rotor when it is applied. This generates heat and stops the vehicle. So this is this brake. As you can see, very literal this lang like compact this DVD, liba. It is like something, um, meron lang pagkakahawig ng this na this literal. Okay, this is this brace that was, as what you can see, yung red na cover niya, yan yung calipers. And, uh, under the calipers, or like, sa ilalim ng calipers na yan, nandyan yung brake pads. Okay, we will dis I will discuss that later on. Okay, let's go to the next Brake pads. Brake pads are composed of steel backing plates with friction material bound to the surface that faces the disc brake rotors. So yung dalawang yan, yan yung nakadikit sa disc brake, yung, yung below, nakadikit siya sa disc brake and then naka, kinakover siya ng brake caliper. Ayan, so when, this, when the car stop, gaganon yan siya, tapos iipitin niya yung this brake to stop the car. Okay? Don't worry. Um, I'm just giving you like an idea, but later on we will watch a video about it. Okay? So let's go. 
A brake caliper, it acts either as a bracket to support the brake pads in the, and the uh, on other side of the rotor or support the caliper bracket. So, yun siya. Yun yung um, parang support, support siya sa brake pads. So, it uses pistons to convert pressure exerted in the brake fluid by the master cylinder into friction on the rotor. So, siya yung like guards or shields ng friction material para hindi uh, siya madali ma-damage. So, let's go. So, this is the disc brake system. Yes, you can see, ito yung ano, ito yung ito yung rotor. Yan siya. Ito. Yung uh, ito siya. Ito. Hmm. Yan siya. Sorry, sorry. And ito yung brake pedal. Just imagine it in a, in a car na lang. And then brake goes. Brake pads. Ito yun. Yung sinasabi ko kanina. Gaganon siya. When you stop. Gaganon niya itong itong um, uh, disc brake. And then brake caliper. Sin yung cover parang bracket siya na na-cover siya ng um ng disc brake. Siya din ang nagsusupport ng uh, disc brake. Parang supporter din siya. So, yan. So, let's go. Disc brakes use the clamping method for braking. We know that the brake system works because there is friction. In the disc brake system, friction occurs when the brake pad clamp a rotating rotor. So, there are two main components. First the rotor. The rotor is shaped like this, connected to the axle shaft so that it rotates with the wheel. Second, brake pads. Brake pads are the component to rub the rotor. They are connected to the chassis of the vehicle. So, when they're clamped the rotor, brake pads are able to hold the rotor rotation. But how the brake pads clamp the rotor? We have another components. It is the brake caliper. Brake caliper is a brake actuator that produce clamping movements. The latest cars generally use hydraulic brake control. The hydraulic system basically functions to move energy from the pedal to the actuator more effectively. So, when we press the pedal, the push rod is pushed, so that the piston inside the master cylinder is also pushed. The movement of the piston will press the fluid so that the fluid moves outwards. In the brake caliper, there is a piston connected to the fluid from the master cylinder. So that, the pushed fluid enter the caliper and push the piston. That makes the piston move. But why is the piston only on one side? How the caliper clamp the brake pads? The brake caliper you see, is a floating type. The floating type, widely applied from city cars to SUVs. In this type, there are two caliper pins. So the caliper can freely slide. So the movement of the piston, will slide the caliper. When the piston move, the inner brake pad rub the disc. Then the piston continues to move. This second movement will slide the caliper and push the outer brake pad to rub the disc. So, the pistons have clamped the disc with the same strength. It's easy right? That's an animation of how hydraulic disc brakes work. Hopefully useful and subscribe for more. Okay, number two is we have drum brake. So drum brake is like literal drum lang din siya. Are shaped like a drum, yes. And brake shoes are the friction material. So what are the friction material nga pala sa disc brake? Yes, it is brake pads. And ito naman sa drum brake, ang, ang kanyang friction material ay ang brake shoes. So a wheel cylinder applies pressure to a brake shoe with a friction lining. Think of a circle within a circle. A hydraulic sur a device expands the shape of the shoes to press against the drum. This generates heat and stops the vehicle. So, I will discuss the, ta the parts of the drum brake. Okay, um, parang 
fixtures. Ito yung friction material niya to stop the car. So, if the disc break, we have a brake pads to uh, to create to fr the friction material as brake pads. Ito naman brake shoes. With the uh, brake shoes are crescent shape composed with a rough friction material on one side. They sit inside of a brake drum. When the brake pedal is pressed, the brake shoes are forced outward, pushing against the inside of the brake drum and slowing down the wheel. So, ayan siya. Wheel cylinder naman is a vital component in any drum brake. Drum brake system. Its purpose is to press the brake shoes against your car's brake drums, which will cause your car to slow down. Ayan. So, dito sa... Dito sa drum brake, meron siyang parang dalawang vital components to stop the car. So, it is the brake shoes and the wheel cylinder. Parang, uh, it is very important uh, when you have drum brake in your car. Okay? So, let's go. Ang brake system, ito yung brake shoes. Ayan, ito draw natin para makita nyo. Ito yung brake shoes. Ayan. Yan siya. Dalawa yan siya. Dito rin sa gilid. Parang magkat magka like kaharap sila ba? So, this is a wheel cylinder. Of course. Ito siya. Yung last na diniscuss ko. And then, ayan. As far as I remember, yan palang basic yung pinag-uusapan natin about brakes. So, ayan. Let's go. Cylinders and brake calipers are both hydraulic slave cylinders. So, yung wheel cylinders and brake calipers pala. A wheel cylinders is a drum brake, is part of drum brake, and brake calipers is part of the disc brake. Isa silang hydraulic slave cylinders. Anti-like brake system or ABS has complex electrical and hydraulic components which are used to avoid skidding wheels in a panic stop or in a poor traction condition. The anti-lock brakes use signals from each wheel speed sensor to determine if one wheel is stopping faster than any of the others. So, anti-lock brake system is very important, no? Kasi, um, para, uh, we don't need to, kapag uh, tinapaka natin yung brake, hindi siya, like, boosh, like, parang sudden stop, hindi rin siya yung dun na sa unahan nagsa-stop. So, parang, perfect stop lang siya when we have this ABS or this this hydraulic slave cylinder as their uh, vital components in each brakes. Okay? So, let's go. This is the brake fluid. Operates under high temperature and high pressure and without it, your car or truck would not be able to stop when you push the brake pedal inside your vehicle. So, I believe uh, one of our classmates um, discussed about brake fluid. I believe it is Mr. Binsoy, but yes, brake fluid right in my topic is very important kasi siya yung parang uh, siya yung nag, nagmamanage or siya yung nagbibigay ng power doon sa brake. Kapag lagyan mo siya ng ganyan, ganyan, ganyan siya. Hmm. So, yan. Isa siyang parang oil lang siya ba? Fluid na siya. Tapos, lalagay mo siya sa brakes for your for your car to stop. Ayan. Kasi para hindi siya matigas or whatever. Yan yun siya. The working principle of the brake system is to rub fixed objects onto a rotating object. As a result, the rotating object stops immediately. Drum brake is a type of brake system with a closed design. In a drum brake system, the fixed object is called brake shoes and the rotating object is called a drum. Brake shoes are connected to the vehicle's chassis, while the drum is connected to the axle shaft. It called closed design because brake shoe position is inside the drum. You can see in this picture. This causes friction between the brake shoes and the drum protected, so that the drum brake is safe against interference from dust or oil leaks. Now how do drum brakes work? There are two brake shoes, shaped like this. Both, will splay each other until the surface of the brake pad touches the inner surface of the drum, so that friction occurs. The friction makes the drum stop spinning immediately. So, what makes brake shoes splay? We did it, through the brake pedal. For recent cars, 
the brake control mechanism used hydraulic system hydraulic brakes using fluid as an intermediary to move pressure from the brake pedal to the drum brake when we press the brake pedal the push rod is pushed so that the brake fluid in the master cylinder moves out towards the hose at the end the hose is connected to the wheel cylinder the wheel cylinder converts the energy in the brake fluid into physical movement in other way pressed brake fluid exits the master cylinder into the wheel cylinder and presses the piston as a result the two pistons move outward and produce opposing physical movements if we put the master cylinder at the top of the brake shoes the two brake shoes can splay to maximize the performance of the brake system there are several additional components return spring to hold and return the brake shoes position when the brake pedal is released back plate this is used as a brake shoe mounting point brake shoe holder consisting of pins and springs to hold the brake shoes so they stick to the back plate brake shoe pivot holder this is used as the axis of movement of the brake shoes brake shoes adjuster a lever to adjust the gap between the brake pad and the inner surface of the drum so this is the braking process on the drum brake system the brake system is often checked by the mechanic during routine oil changes and maintenance pero pwede mo rin siyang i-check sa bahay and there were steps on how to check your brakes later on i will tell you about them kasi marami po sila so consult the server man service manual of the specific make and model about checking the brakes and finding the locations of each part of the brake system in shock so paano nga ba malalaman natin kung new brakes natin is working properly so first is always listen to your car kasi kung may kakaibang tunog na dyan when you when you um tapakan yung tapakan mo yung brake may may ibang squealing and parang um kakaibang tunog na siya so it's not healthy diba kailangan mo ng brake charis okay it's not healthy so kailangan ma um uh, pay attention to the uh sound of your car kapag tinapakan mo yung brakes kasi kung may snog squealing na dyan hindi na yan healthy okay you need to like check them always next looking at them of course kapag meron na mga rusty dyan and everything na parang madumi siya tingnan you need to clean them right okay so pay attention to how your car is stopping okay kasi if ever pagtapak mo ng brake tapos sa unahan na siya nagstop di ba very delicate. Like my god, charos. Okay, so pay attention to how your car is stopping. So, uh, kapag dito ka nag nagtapak ng brake, tapos doon na siya sa parang 5 or 10 meter na siya nag-stop, diba? It's very dangerous na. So, parang doon na cause ang uh, aksidente. So, dapat pagtapak mo, smoothly siyang um, nagsustop. Ganun siya. So, Front brakes are usually the most important. So the front brakes, I forgot to tell you about this. The front brakes are are those disc brakes. Since they do the majority of the work with stopping, this this brake this brake po ang front brakes natin, and the rear brakes are those drum brakes. Okay, so the rear brakes are typically smaller and less powerful, but they are still necessary to help stop the car. Okay, next. Usually, the front brakes wear faster since the front brakes are responsible for about 80% of the stopping. Okay, the front brakes pala is yung disc brake. 80% uh, of the brakes ay siya yung nagbibigay. So, um, otherwise, 20% naman yung front brake. There's no blanket measurement for brake pad thickness since the thickness of new pad can vary by make and model of the vehicle. A few millimeters can appear brand new in one car but be an indication for pad replacement and other. Thickness of the pad is 20% of the original thickness or less, then the pad should be replaced. The original thickness can be found in the service manual for the vehicle. So, we have, di ba sa disc brake, meron tong tinatawag na brake pads. So, kapag thick, ay kapag, um, 
then na kasi yung or manifest na yung pad na yun mahirapan na mag-create yung session yan kasi siya yung nag nagaganon dun sa list na sinasabi ko siya yung nag press para mag-stop yung car para maka uh, create ng hit and hit energy and then mag-stop yung car so kapag manifest na siya mahirapan ng mayroon pa na mag-stop yung car mo. So, you need, kailangan mo siyang palitan kapag 20% or less na yung thickness na brake pads mo. Okay? So, yes. Let's go. The little six are the steps to check the brake system. Number one, start, start under the hood. Yung sasakyan mo yung sa gitna isa, yung sa unahan ba. You need to um, check there. Check there. Check there. Check the brake master cylinder for leaks. For leaks. Yan. So, pag may mga butas-butas, anything like that. Check the level and condition of the brake fluid. Yung siya, very important. Um, inspect all lines in anti-lock brake module for leaks or loose damage connectors. Yung mga may naputol na connectors dyan, you need, you need to be aware of that. Okay? Raise the vehicle and support it securely on a lift or jack stance if needed. Okay, I know that one of our classmates also discuss about this. Yung, um, i-lift yung sasakyan mo sa baba sa um, babaw para makita kung there's something wrong with the brakes. Okay. Remove all four wheels. So, remove mo siya lahat, yung four wheels mo dyan. If the vehicle has drum brakes, then remove the drums. Inspect all brake lines and hoses for signs of leaking or cracking. Inspect the caliper hardware and dust boots for damage. Inspect the caliper or wall cylinders for black fluid leaking. Inspect the routers for smoothness. If a router has any pits or grooves, then it will have to be reconditioned or replaced. Check the thickness of all the brake pads. Ayan. This is very important to everyone. Or ito, these steps is kapag ikaw yung mag-check, hindi yung mechanics yung mag-check ng brakes mo. Kung ikaw lang or like you are capable enough naman to check your brakes, then uh, you need to be aware of those things na kailangan mong um, i-consider para i-check para ikaw rin naman ang makikinabang, di ba? So, to prevent accident, uh, you need to do the process, no? So, marami siyang process kasi the car, driving a car is very, kuan, very um, dangerous kaayo. So, you need to be aware of that, okay? So, it's your life naman din. So, take care of your life, okay? Next questions, clarifications, and everything. Okay, if not, refer